All right, hi everybody. This is our next project grade, which is value study, okay? Uh, which is a shading project. All right, so I gave you guys a new pencil, a third pencil, which is a shading pencil. Now the three pencils you currently have, you guys have 4H, which is light shadow. You have an HB number two, which is a middle shadow. And the new pencil is the 3B, which is a dark shadow, which you're going to see smudges a lot, okay? So you have three pencils, three different smudges, and if you're good with the pencils, you should be able to get two tones out of any one pencil, a light and a dark, depending on how much you're pressing. So these three technically become six, okay? All right, so new pencil, got that. Now, first thing you guys are gonna do, you're gonna go on Classroom, you're gonna find the images attached to this assignment. I gave you, about 14 images of these still lifes that I put into the class that you're going to draw and you're going to shade under the light source. The only thing you are drawing in this picture is going to be the stuff that's on the table itself. You're also gonna semi draw the table a little bit, all right? So, first thing you're gonna do, you're gonna pick what picture you pick. I leveled them with difficulty, so this is one of the easy ones. So I'm literally going to draw this with pencil line. I'm not gonna put any shadow in it yet. I'm just going to draw it. So I'm gonna to cut to that in a second. I'm going to use a ruler. And by the way, I don't expect you this to take you quickly. I would imagine just drawing these lines is probably gonna take you a period in and of itself. So I'm gonna to cut to that right now. Okay, so here's the picture drawn. I did it with an HB pencil. I did it lightly. I did not use a ruler, but I recommend you do. I also didn't use perspective here because I didn't feel like doing it. You also don't have to do it, which is why there's some, uh, these boxes are a little bit wrong, but again, that's fine. It's drawn pretty well. So other tips I can give you when drawing this. First off, I, I, I recommend drawing in each shape as if it's the only thing there. Meaning, like for example, if I'm drawing this triangle, I'm just gonna draw the triangle and put it right through the lines of the box. Same thing with this box. I'm just gonna draw the box as if this triangle is in here. Kind of like you could see through everything because it makes it so that the lines are easy to, uh, to see. Also, as much as possible, you're gonna wanna try to find shared lines. What I mean by that is like, say for example, I draw the box in down here. This diagonal is shared with this diagonal, which is shared with this one, which is shared with this one, which is shared with this one, this one, this one, this one, okay? This one, all right? Same thing over here. One, two, three, four, okay? Five are shared, all right? So try to find as many shared lines as possible. It makes the drawing um, a lot easier. Also, the uh, surface area of the shapes that you're drawing, they are made of plaster. Do not draw them like they have texture. Just draw them as if they were flat, uh, uniformal uh, boxes. That's also going to make this a lot easier. All right, so your next step of this is going to be with the HB again, you are going to draw in anywhere that light breaks shadow, anywhere there's stark uh, shadow break. Like for example, in the picture, you have a stark shadow break right here. So I'm going to draw in a line here. I'm going to draw in one here. Okay, I'm going to draw in one here, here, um, up here on the triangle. I'm not going to miss that one. Okay, on the side of the block here. And there's one, there's a hard one to see right here actually. It goes kind of like that. It's not a straight line, it's like a, it's like a curve. Okay, and I think that's it. I'm gonna ignore, if you see these, there's some shadows on this. I'm gonna ignore that, I'm gonna act like that's flat. Okay, but there's my shadow breaks, all right? Now, once I have my shadow breaks in, I then am going to apply my pencils to this. I'm going to look at my three pencils and apply those three pencils in shadow tone to the picture, okay? Literally by coloring them in. So I'm going to go through this image and I'm going to try to figure out where my dark tones are, where my middle tones are, and where my light tones are, okay? And equate those to the 4H, the HB, and the 3B, okay? Um, I'm gonna cut to that right now and then I'll explain it afterwards. All right, and we're back and you can notice here that I colored in now uh, the zones, I shaded them in with the three pencils. Okay, so my darkest tones, 3B, 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 okay? I used an HB here, 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 and here. And then I use the 4H, the lightest, here and here. Now, the problem you're going to notice when you're picking your pictures and when you're shading them in is a lot of these zones look to you like they're exactly the same shadow. So you might say in your picture that this, 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 like all of what I did up here is the same tone. You might have to manufacture a little bit 
that like this is the darkest, this is the middle. You might have to fool around with a little bit more. But general rule of thumb is usually that the side that's furthest away from the light source is the darkest or ground shadows are the darkest. So shadows where like it's stretching off of the shape on a flat plane like these, okay? Or these or this, those are usually the darkest. But you might need to manufacture some of the shadow a little bit. All right, so your next step here, after you actually color in the zones and that's okay. Oh, and by the way, where light directly touches, that's just flat paper. You're not actually coloring that at all. I have a piece of paper here, a piece of paper towel. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fold this into a paper football. So I'm just gonna literally keep folding it until I can't anymore. And so maybe get it to like here. And I'm using the curved end and I'm gonna start blending this. Now, the thing I'm gonna be really careful with when I blend is I'm gonna make sure I blend the lightest areas first, then the middle areas, then the dark areas. And the reason why I'm doing it that way is because I wanna be able to carry the darkness from the light into the middle, into the dark. You do not wanna start in a dark area and then blend into a light area because what that will do is it'll take the dark tone and it'll carry it into the light tone and it'll make it a medium tone. So it'll change up the whole uh, shadow area. So I'm gonna start with the 4H, which is here in this little spot. And I'm gonna give myself a pretty good press with the, pen, with the hand. And the 4H in particular is not going to blend that much. Now you're gonna see the line go away, but you're not gonna really see anything too substantial, okay? And then right here, I'm gonna try to blend that. Okay, now that I got that, I'm gonna go into the four, uh, the HBs, the middle tones. And again, I'm just gonna blend really slowly, carefully, up here, okay, up here, okay? Now, now that I got my middle tones, I'm gonna go in and do the dark areas. Now this one I have to be really careful with because the dark areas, the three Bs, that's gonna smudge a lot and it's gonna come off the shape. But you're gonna see a lot of just in general smokiness with this. This whole area has gotta be blended. And I'm being very careful again, I'm not carrying that shadow into lighter areas. Okay, now look, I got this, it's pretty good, right? My final step here is I'm gonna take my eraser, I'm gonna erase anywhere that shouldn't have shadow. So anywhere that you see the shadow stretching off the shape. And then I'm gonna go back in with my HB pencil and I'm gonna a little bit trace over my lines again, just so you can see them a little bit better. I'm gonna cut to this. Okay, so here we are with the finished picture. I've now erased all the smokiness and I've redrawn all my lines and it's done. And I'm going to take a picture of this and I'm going to submit it to classroom for the project grade. Okay, thanks.